Well, more than five months after Hurricanes Irma and Maria knocked out the power on Puerto Rico, crews from the Miami Valley are still there on the ground trying to get the lights back on. Two News reporter Dana Smith continues our coverage of the hurricane's aftermath with the work that our local crews are still doing. Mark, I spoke with the Duke Energy lineman supervisor who's been on the ground in Puerto Rico with his team since January, and he told me the damage is widespread, and his team has been working long hours replacing power lines and poles. Many Puerto Ricans have been without power for months. Hurricanes Irma and Maria left behind widespread devastation. Heavy rains flooded streets, and winds destroyed buildings, power lines, and utility poles, knocking out power to the entire island. Um, total devastation, uh, especially where we've been working on the mountains. I think even after we're done, I mean, they're going to be working on power lines for the rest of the year and then some. Luis Amaya is from Monroe, Ohio. He's been working alongside other crewmen from the Ohio area, Indiana, and Kentucky. He said many are not used to the rough terrain and infrastructure on the island, but the results are paying off. I mean, you got kids going to school right now without, they're in a school without any power. And when they see your trucks blow up, they're, the Americans are here, the Americans are here. And uh, <laughs> so it, it's kind of neat. And then you, you put up the lines and then you energize them and then they all start yelling and clapping. It's like, you know, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, we really appreciate it. He said restoration efforts have been ongoing since the storm. Crews have been working overtime in difficult conditions to help turn the lights back on. We're, we've been working uh, 14, 15 hour days and then we're working 13 days on and off for one day. One day of rest and then we're back at it for another 13 days. And he said the members of his team who are on the ground there in Puerto Rico actually volunteered to go. And although it's a lot of work, they are enjoying the experience. And he's expected to come back to Ohio in another two weeks. Reporting live, Dana Smith, 5 on 2.